Hi guys, this is Reza from Cat Space, and today I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks about how to perform a proper cut in an assembly in SolidWorks. So one of the main challenges the designers have is uh, when they want to show the internal components of, a, of an assembly such as this flashlight. So the normal cut that we usually do in assembly is going to include and cut all the components of the assembly. So I'll show you a normal cut that I would perform in an assembly by creating this rectangular sketch such as this one and then perform and then the, I define the length and depth of this cut extrusion as here. So as you can see it's going to cut all through the materials and all through the components of my assembly but this is not at all uh, what I want. So I want these components such as the half of this battery to be shown fully and also these parts that I have no idea what they are to be shown fully including this um, uh, light bulb. So I can edit these features and as you can see this big list of the, mat the components listed under feature scope uh, are, all, are the parts that have been already cut so I can clear this selection and select from the outer shells of this big assembly to be to the, for the cut to be performed only on these parts so as soon as I hit OK you see all the internal components which I haven't uh, selected on that um, big box of feature scope stayed on touch and this is exactly what I want so whenever I create a drawing such as this one and create an isometric view here and bring it into my drawing so I'll change the display style quickly and the scale sheet as this one so when performing the auto balloon command on this thing the benefits of this feature that I just introduced to you guys is clear as all these internal components have been uh, numbered such as these two batteries and these two components including this lamp and this reflector this is extremely useful because your bill of material includes all the parts including the internal components and in this way when you perform this auto balloon and the bill of material together at the same time you have a clear view and display in your drawing to which part is referring to which by taking a look at the balloons and the bill of material at the same time. I hope this tip is useful for you guys and wish you all the best with your design.